I mean, it's it's not cocky to say that you expect to win a championship. You know, we we would be disappointed not to win a championship, and that's the truth. Um, and that's just the standard that we've set for ourselves. Same thing with academics. We'd be disappointed not to be one of the best academic teams in the school in America East. It's just the standard that we have, not just to say, oh, you mean's great, but just because those are the kind of people that you have on this team. They want to be the best at everything. I think last year it was a new thing for our, our team. Uh, you know, our players on our team had never experienced that before. It was always, we were the underdogs uh, and, and kind of surprised people. Last year that was not the case, and this year that won't be the case either. Last year, I think we had three non-conference home games and uh, we may have been on the road the whole month of December, it felt like. So this year, having more at home will be great for us. It will be great for our fans. Uh, and it's great. Our, our players love, just love to play at the Cross Center. Um, they love when we get big crowds. They love when the crowds get into the game. Uh, they really feed off of that. And it's just, it's something really special about that place and, and how our team um, feels really confident there. Support-wise, it's awesome. It's it's really, it's incredible how much of a support from community we get as a basketball program and we really appreciate every single thing about it because it's like, it's almost like playing five on five but we still need the sixth player to be on the court and that's the community for us and the things they do for us, it's, it's unbelievable. I've never experienced anything like that and I really appreciate it and I know my teammates do too. Our kids really want to be the best they can be and so um, in order to do that you have to play the best and we really try and challenge them with our non-conference schedule. It's really hard. <laughs> um, uh, there's, there's really no easy game on our schedule um, any year and especially this year. So we're excited, our, our players are excited. Um, you know, we want to be ready for conference and we also want to just, just challenge ourselves and compete. And, and I think with a competitive non-conference schedule that allows us to do that. We're not a, you know, 90 point scoring team. You know, we don't go up and down a ton. We like to run, but um, that's, you know, especially when we're playing in non-conference, um, we play against teams who are many times more athletic and quicker than us. And if we tried to get in a track meet with them, we we would lose. So um, we're, we, we, we like to be really smart offensively in what we do. And I think, you know, because of that, the defense has to play more defense against us. The opponent has to play more defense against us. And then on the other end, um, it's hard playing defense for a long time. So um, that being said, I think defensively, our, our players really have uh, um, taken pride in that. You know, they really take pride in keeping teams um, having them shoot, shoot poorly from the field and limiting them to one shot and that's an area that I'm hoping we, we improve on even more this year. Dora, it's, I'm really excited to see her this year. You know, her freshman year she came in and she really just wanted to um, get every, everyone in the right spot and just kind of ran the team and, you know, listened to the plays and just kind of made sure everyone was in the same spot. I think last year at the end of the year you kind of saw her do a little bit more offensively. Um, and I think this year she'll even do more. I feel like this year I can do so much uh, more things and last year, first of all, mentally I'm more prepared and I know um, much more than I used to know um, in freshman year and sophomore year. Also, I feel like I really uh, improved my game and I wor worked really hard this summer and this uh, past few months. So I'm just gonna try to play my basketball and try to um, help the team win and get uh, better every day. You know, she had a great summer uh, re representing Israel in the U20s. I think was a fifth leading scorer in the European Championships or something like that. And, and she's come back in really great shape. I mean, best shape she's been in since she's been at Maine. And, and she's really become comfortable in calling, her, you know, being able to call the plays and direct her team without me, which is really exciting, you know, to get a point, to have a point guard who is so knowledgeable and their IQ is so high, who can also just shoot the ball so well um, and make great passes. Um, it doesn't happen all the time, and so we're really fortunate to have her. Honestly, I want to do everything I can to help the team get a third one, but focusing on me, I just want to keep working on what really worked last season for me, but really step up in things that 
I was not that good or I knew I could be better. So like footwork or like three point shot wasn't great at the end of the season. So I know those things are gonna help me get to the next level. You know, we've talked a lot with Blanca, you know, I think she can become more efficient, you know, and, and so, and we've talked a lot about adding different aspects to our game, you know, posting up, being able to post up smaller players down, down low, and, and she's done a really nice job um, working on that this summer. I think, you know, to be a consistent three-point shooter, um, she worked so hard this summer on her footwork uh, to be consistent. Um, there. If she's a consistent three-point shooter, she's going to be really, really hard to guard. She's hard to guard anyway, um, but that was one part of her game that she really wanted to work on this summer. And so, um, and just being consistent every single day, you know, uh, Blanca, uh, she's a special one, you know, she's one of the best that will ever come out and wear the, come out of Maine and wear the blue and white. And so um, to challenge her to be consistent and demand that of herself every single day, um, are things we've talked to her about because she has really high goals, you know, individually and collectively. You know, her her goals f first and foremost are with our team. You know, she wants our team to be the best that they can be, and um, if she doesn't get any accolades, she's okay with it as long as our team does well. You know, we're we're, we're going to have to grow a lot. You know, uh, we definitely have three players who have had a lot of minutes in their four years or three or four years: Dor, Blanca, and Fani. And we have a lot of players who want to step into those other spots. And so um, we're going to have to learn how to play together with new players uh, and, and just keep getting better. You know, if, if, we can, if we can get our team on the same page and different people contributing and, contributing and that kind of thing, I think we'll be in good shape. Um, we're going to take our blow, we're going to take our hits, you know, it's, we're going to have ups and downs and it's a matter of um, figuring our way through those downs uh, and um, making our way to be strong, as strong as we can at the end of the year. I think that experience from last year will help us and also understanding how important every single game is in conference. Uh, you can't have a slip up um, if you want to host in playoffs and hosting is so critical. Um, it, 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 it can't be uh, overstated how critical it is when you get to play at home and sleep in your, home, in your, your own bed. So uh, every game is important. I think our conference is, is getting better. I think there, we have a lot of strong teams in our conference this year, a lot of really, really good players. Um, so it's going to be a great year.